All right guys, welcome to your first HTML5 tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing great. And if you guys don't have any experience with XHTML or CSS, that will help out, but don't worry because I'm gonna explain everything in full detail as I go. And if you guys get lost on YouTube, you can always come to my website, villageparksource.com and click on tutorials. And I'm making this all on the fly, so HTML5 should be down here and you'll have a list of all my videos in ascending order, just one through however many we catch up to. Okay, so all you're gonna need uh, for this series of videos is a text editor, not a word processor like Microsoft Word, but a text editor, which I will be using TextMate. And if you're on a PC, I think your default text editor is Notepad, or it used to be a couple years ago. I don't know what it is anymore, but I'd imagine it still is. But I highly recommend downloading Notepad++ if you're on a PC because it's free. So go ahead and just Google Notepad++. Notepad++. Yeah, see, it's already all the Ajax is auto populating it. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find. So if you're on a PC, I recommend that. It's free, so uh, yeah. And if you're on a Mac, your stock text editor is, I believe it's text edit. But if you're not okay with that, I'd recommend downloading Text Wrangler. And uh, just keep in mind that there's no right or wrong when it comes to using a text editor. Just use whatever feels most comfortable. If you like Dreamweaver, you hate Dreamweaver. Uh, it's just kind of all up to the individual user. So for this series of videos, I'm gonna be using TextMate. Text may cost a little bit of money, but don't worry because you'll be fine with any text editor if you don't want to spend a couple bucks. So that's kind of it for this video. All we need is a text editor. We don't need a server. We don't need XAMPP. We don't need Microsoft Visual Studio. Just a text editor. And stick with these videos because by the end of these videos, you'll have a solid understanding of HTML5. If you guys knew who I was in real life, you'd know that if I can do this, you can do this. I have no college degree nor any form of college recognition. Information is just too accessible nowadays to take out student loan money and most employers could care less if you have a degree as long as you have equivalent experience. So good luck with this guys and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.